Just a quick video showing the capabilities of the Tyrannus as well as the Brain FPV Racing Edition 1 OSD. So I've got the Brain in there. It's got the MPB which has the voltage and current sensors feeding into the flight controller. That's going over to the smart port on my X4R SB which is connected to my Tyrannus telemetry. my telemetry screen. You can see right now I've got 12.6 volts and it's drawing half an amp. This is the same thing. This is what I would see on my FPV screen. I've got it just blacked out so it's easier to read. Um, right now I've got it set up so that voltage is on the top right with signal. I've got current on the left, milliamp hours consumed, as well as my uh, flight timer on the bottom and the mode in the middle. My call sign is, is being put on there by my camera. Um, I've got the voltage being supplied by my handy lab supply and it's reading 12.47 on my little multimeter and 12.6 from the flight controller. Now, I just wanted to show what happens whenever I decrease the voltage. I've got an alarm set at 10.3 for 3 seconds on the Tyrannus. You can see, at 10.4, flight controller is saying, hey, I'm low, running low. 10.3. And the battery starts flashing. Unfortunately, the current range, the power supply won't go any lower. Let me just change that. Okay, back to this. 10.3, I've now decreased the range. No data. Hmm. Telemetry recovered. Low battery. Battery oh. critical. Connecting it up this way, the Tyrannus is uh I hope that helps show some of the telemetry capabilities. There, we'll quieten that down. On the main screen, um, you can see it's reading 10.9 right now. If we go through the menu, I'm just going to the last page. These are some of the telemetry features. You can see it's sensing or it's assuming that you've got 3.63 volts per cell there 
That's the VFAS, is the overall battery. Current. Um, I'm not sure what A2 is, but I'm sure it's important. S2, SWR, I think that's just an assumption based on the RSSI. Right now, the RSSI is very high because the antennas are right next to each other. And uh, one of the things I've got set up, so the the Tyrannus feeds the RSSI back into channel 10 and transmits channel 10 to the to the flight controller. And the flight controller then puts channel 10's RSSI on my screen. So that's how I'm getting that signal. Um, with the X4R SB, if you hack in a connection from the uh, from one of the pads it will get, give you RSSI straight to the flight controller. But I figured that was a little too much work for data I could just transmit over the air. Uh, fuel, that's an estimated battery remaining. Whatever. I don't pay any attention to that. Heading, that is supposedly magnetometer based, but there is no magnetometer on this particular flight controller, so I'm assuming it's guessing that based on the gyro. Acceleration, that's all gyro readings. Temp, I'm pretty sure it's not 3,000 degrees centigrade. 30,000 degrees centigrade. And uh, that's it. So, 